tutti amici. Welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina. My name is Isabella Morgetti Vicari and I am the owner and personal chef of Isabella's Bella Cucina. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this savory spinach filled crepe with Gruyere cheese. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to actually crack this egg and we're going to put an egg in here. I'm going to add about a cup of milk at the moment. And you actually have the recipe of the in entire uh, recipe, as you will see on this video. Just beating that up a little bit. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to take a little bit of flour, farina. Remember, I'm the chef that teaches you how to speak Italian as well. So I want you to say farina, flour, a little bit of sugar, a pinch of salt, perfecto. And we're just going to, one, two, three, easily whisk that together. Okay, I want to just mix this up very, very quickly. So I also um, got a measuring cup out. Normally you put it between three and four tablespoons of the crepe mixture in the saute pan. So I actually like to use like a quarter of a cup and go a little less than that. So that'll give you a good idea. Okay, I think this is good. Here we go, turn it up a little. Now watch, got this stirred up beautifully. Here we go, let's turn this in, turn this over, watch this. Move it around just like that. Now we're gonna make the cheese sauce and notice we're gonna make it in the same exact pan. Let's not dirty any more dishes than we have to. So what am I gonna do? Add a little bit of butter right here it's about three tablespoons or so. I want to put the milk in there. <laughs> All right, I added a little bit of milk and I actually should have put the milk in before I threw the spinach in. But let me just go, it just goes to show you that you know what? The recipe still works. Remember, I'm the chef that tells you that you don't have to make everything so scientific. Get the ingredients in and they're gonna be perfect. Now, the, my favorite kind of cheese, Gruyere. We're gonna put that right in here. Now, if you're not a fan of Gruyere and you would like to add provolone or fontanella or fontina or a nice sharp cheddar, you make this exactly the way you love it. This is about a third of a cup of the filling. All right, so you can use a third of a cup and I think it's great, you know, because crepes are so light, you don't want your filling to be like a lead rock, all right? So I don't put an awful lot in them because I love the lightness of this. Now notice that I have this filling and then all I'm actually gonna do is watch this. We're gonna fold over and we're gonna just even that out. Now once I fold over, or fold up, excuse me, I fold over. And that is my beautiful crepe right now spilled with spinach and Gruyere. If you'd like, you can also add a little bit of this cheese sauce on the very top, just like this. A little bit of fresh herbs and voila, you have your crepe ready to be enjoyed. Viva de bene amici. Live well, my friends. I'll see you soon. Ciao. Thank you.